What's up, Cozy Gamers? Today, I have a video showcasing all of the games you don't want to miss this month. There's so much variety in the games coming out this month in August that I'm sure you'll be able to find at least one that sparks your interest. And if you do, be sure to let me know which game that is in the comments below. Let's get started. I want to start today's video with some titles you may have missed at the end of July. The first being Venba. Centering around an immigrant mother, her family, and the role food plays in connecting different generations, this game brings the magic of cooking to the Nintendo Switch in a short but impactful story. I'm a huge fan of the art style as it reminds me of a children's book. Just try not to get too hungry playing this one. Don't let this next game's title fool you. This magical Disney adventure on the Nintendo Switch is no illusion. Disney Illusion Island takes us back to the good old days of couch co-op, in which you and up to three friends can take control of Mickey, Minnie, Donald, or Goofy, all with their own unique hand-drawn animations. Despite the game playing similarly to a Mario or Donkey Kong game, it's actually closer to a Metroidvania, with a huge expanding map. I'm happy to report, however, that it isn't nearly as backtrack heavy and you're not as likely to get lost. If you want a fairly easy platform experience, or if you're a huge Disney fan like me, look no further. Next up is a mobile game which I don't normally pay much attention to, but this one... Oh boy, this one really pulled me in. Hello Kitty Island Adventure is everything a Sanrio and Animal Crossing fan could want. Character customization, bug catching, fishing, crafting, exploring, designing houses, all in the palm of your hands. Not to mention the familiar faces waiting to greet you. I was personally so excited to see some of my favorite characters like Cinema Roll and Choco Cat. If you don't mind further risking phone addiction, try this one out. Moving on to proper August releases, first up is Cornucopia. This game, now available in early access only on Steam, calls itself a 2.5D farming sim. As you can see from the footage, the game opts out of the top-down angle seen in most 2D life sims in favor of a closer, front-facing angle that immediately made me think of Paper Mario for some reason. Outside of this admittedly unique feature, the game has everything you'd expect from a farming sims, including fishing, crafting, raising animals, minigames, light battles, and 31 romanceable characters. That's even more than Coral Island. Commence the choice paralysis. The next title is one that I've been particularly looking forward to, and it's called Flutter Away. In it, you are a butterfly researcher on a five-day expedition in the Amazon. During your adventure, you'll use your journal to keep track of objectives, as well as all the critters and plant life you come across. And you do all this while developing a friendship with the wee little capybara. What I like most about this game is that you don't catch the bugs, you just take photos of them akin to Pokemon Snap. This game is the epitome of slow and cozy, and it's available now on the Nintendo Switch. The next game on our list scheduled to be released in early access on Steam come August 8th is called I Am Future. Have you ever thought the apocalypse could be cute? No? Well then you haven't played Tokyo Jungle. But that's not what we're talking about today. I Am Future, despite being set in a flooded, post-apocalyptic world, uses bright and colorful graphics and familiar mechanics to make you feel at ease with a life of solitude on the rooftops of an abandoned building. Oh, did I say solitude? Maybe not, because you'll be able to build the cutest helper robots to make your job of survival much easier. Explore ruins to gather more supplies, craft, farm, and uncover the mystery of the catastrophe. My only complaint is that the game seemingly has you play as the male character shown, but I personally feel that all life sims should allow you a modicum of customization options. What if I don't want to play a bearded dude, bro? What if I want to be soft and cute? The next title really doesn't need much of an introduction at this point, but I have to include it as it's my current obsession. Palea's open beta begins on August 10th, and you are not going to want to miss it. I'm currently in the closed beta, and the game has so much promise. I plan on releasing a separate video soon of my pros and cons, so I won't say much more in this one. What I will say, though, is that this MMO Life Sims is likely to stay around for a long while, keeping us cozy gamers fed. Do you hate moving? Me too. So much so that I wish it were like this next game, Moving Out 2, which comes out on August 15th on the Nintendo Switch. In this game, you will aim to be an all-star fart. 
furniture arrangement and relocation technician, that is. This sequel now has online play, so you can play with friends and be farts together. Pack with some of the wackiest locales, your goal is to move all types of furniture to the fart truck. Sounds easy? Guess again, because the obstacles will add just enough chaos to the mix to have you wondering to yourself, maybe packing in real life is easier. But it's definitely not as fun. I was recently on a podcast with the creators of this next game, hashtag not sponsored, the Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood, and they couldn't have been sweeter or more passionate about their game. The Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood combines sci-fi and magic as you play as an exiled witch who crafts her own tarot card decks to shape the future and past of the witches who banished her. This game will focus on more serious topics, but the mystical atmosphere is undeniably soothing, while the ability to create custom tarot cards will have you wanting a tarot deck of your own. The Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood will be available on August 16th on the Nintendo Switch. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, that's what you'll be trying to answer in this 2D puzzle platformer, Chicken Journey. This game has zero combat, so it's sure to be a relaxing time with friendly critters, silly dialogue, and a super catchy soundtrack. Chicken Journey comes to Steam on August 22nd. High School isn't easy, and that's apparent in Goodbye Volcano High, releasing on Steam and PS5 on August 23rd, a fully voice-acted, narrative-driven game focusing on growing up and all the ups and downs that come with it. This game has branching dialogue paths with difficult choices and far-reaching consequences. Throw in a killer soundtrack, colorful casts of anthropomorphic characters, themes of sexuality and death, and you'll have something on your hands that has the weight and scale of a book or movie. I get a strong feeling this game might make me cry, but I'm excited and ready with tissues in hand. I'm sure you're all familiar with this next one. Unpacking, an incredible indie game about, well, unpacking, has you work your way through different stages of life as your character grows up, changes, and adapts to the world around them. The story is told not through words, but through the items you unpack, and it's a lot deeper than you'd think. This is a game I think every cozy gamer should play at least once, and you'll soon be able to do just that on your phone. Because Unpacking is coming to mobile devices on August 24th. Any RPG fans out there? Well, I got just the game for you. Sea of Stars is bringing back the magic of RPGs of decades past with its charming 2D graphics and turn-based battle system. It tells the story of two children of the solstice who by combining the powers of the sun and moon will be able to wield eclipse magic strong enough to fend off their enemies. What excites me most about this title is that its soundtrack is composed by Yasunori Mitsuda, who composed Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross. RPGs aren't for everyone, but this one looks just cute enough to recommend. So, if you're interested, look out for it on the Nintendo Switch on August 29th. The next game might look stressful and dark, but at its core, it's a neat two-player puzzle solver unlike any you've seen before. One player will use the Nintendo Switch and embody the character trapped on a mysterious train en route to certain demise. They need to solve puzzles to make it to the connecting cars, but they're missing pertinent information. That's where Player 2 comes in. Using a free companion app on their mobile device that feeds them information, Player 2 will then have to communicate to Player 1 in order to help them escape their perilous situation. This game is all about communicating well, and communicating quickly. What could go wrong? Find out on August 31st on the Nintendo Switch. Last, we have a game that drew my attention on appearance alone. Oh. Set to release on the Nintendo Switch on August 31st, O oh is honestly shrouded in mystery. Appropriate since you'll take control over O, oh, who themselves wakes up in Uchronia, a hazy world that lives in hazy memories of the past, with no memory. Following his new possum companion, they head out on a journey to find out his story. According to the creators, this game not only disguises itself as a game to meet and interact with reality, they also claim it's a challenge to games as a whole. What could it mean? 
I don't know, but I'm excited to find out. And there you have it, 15 games to play or wishlist for later this month. Like I mentioned at the start, there's a nice variety here, so I'm sure anyone can find at least one game that suits their taste. If I missed any games, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video and want more cozy game news, be sure to like and subscribe. And check out my other socials too in the description box below. I live stream over on Twitch three days a week, so I'd love to have you stop by and chat with me. Until then, see you next time.